Albuquerque has a lot bigger budget than Bernalillo County, a lot more workers, and a lot more programs and services. Basically, the city government has a lot more going on. So why does the county have a bigger, more expensive PR staff than the city? And is it a waste of your taxpayer money? That's what News 13's Kim Holland tried to figure out on special assignment. They write news releases. I think the image of the MDC is that. Do interviews with reporters and update the Bernalillo County website, among other duties. The Public Information Department keeps taxpayers updated on county programs, its employees, and how officials spend your money. A public information officer uh, really is essential to the county. But Bernalillo County doesn't just have one public information specialist. It employs seven of them full time. I keep telling, look, the county's a stage. And the people in the audience pay for you to be here. Wayne Johnson, a Republican commissioner who just took office January 1st, thinks the office probably employs too many spokespeople. He also thinks the county pays them too much, especially when you include the eight additional support staff like web editors, a graphic design specialist, and a cable TV producer. Some of the new salaries really concern me. Here's how the full-time public information specialists break down. Five each make about $50,000 a year. Liz Ham, the county clerk's spokeswoman, collects nearly $88,000 annually. And the county's new public information director, Tia Bland, was just hired last month at more than $90,000 a year. That adds up to one whopper of a price tag. It seems like for the amount of information that we're getting out of this, we're paying an awful lot of money. We asked repeatedly for an on-camera interview with the county manager or his deputy county manager. Hi, Renetta. It's Kim Holland with News 13. And we're told... Bland was the only one available. So we caught up with the county manager, Thaddeus Lucero, this week at a news conference at the jail. We never had the jail before, so we have added a lot of facilities over time. The county's grown. We have a lot more programs. The seven public information specialists speak for about 2,500 Bernalillo County employees. In contrast, five spokespeople work for the city of Albuquerque, which employs three times the number of people as the county. Their city salaries add up to $70,000 less than the county crew. But the county manager says there are no plans to get rid of any communications staff. That's the same number that we've always had. Because we've always had it, is that the right answer to continue under budget cuts? I think what the answer again is that we're looked at it. We've determined that we felt that that's the best approach that we have. If the commission, when we go through our budget times, if they feel we need to do some adjustments, or if I do or if Tia does, we'll address that. And if maybe if we do feel, we'll, we'll address it at that time. At least three county commissioners have said they would like to evaluate the public information department to see if it's overpaid, overstaffed, or both. Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. The city also has spokespeople for the police and fire departments, but they are not hired hands. Melissa Romero is an Albuquerque firefighter and doubles as the department's spokesperson. And then there's Trish Hoffman, a woman that you see almost daily on TV. She is a sergeant with APD.